Yeah, welcome back to my channel. Just waiting to get out on the road here. Got a lot of traffic all of a sudden came up. Alright, hello YouTube. This is kind of a different kind of vlog from what I've been doing. But before we get into the subject and what I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you some updates. Got a uh, double torque converter boats on. I got a video taped. I have not edited it yet. Uh, I'm just hoping it comes out good. I have tried it with my camera a different way. I don't know how it was. I didn't go back and look. I worked on uh, that. And, uh, decided to take a break and then the guy called me that was uh, done trading with that was coming to get that motor uh, took out, out of the truck so he came and got that during that time I actually took a little bit on the Yamaha that I didn't get videotaped either uh, which was just to put the brake master summer on because looking at it it's like well I hope this thing actually fits because it looks like it might have been a little bit smaller but no it worked perfect I just gotta uh, get the rest of the lines and stuff and if it looks kind of dark and especially gloomy in the back window that's cause it is raining today as soon as I figure well I'll go ahead and do a vlog on the way home uh, talking about a subject which is one coming up to which is basically uh, how this all got started and I decided to do this video was uh, well like when the guy came and they got the motor which he's been keeping up with me I work with him so he knows how much but he has asked me uh, how much more I like then I had several of my family members asked how much I like even though I haven't been that long since I told them it, it's not a quick progress. It's going to be long. And like, they was asking how much I have left. And I was like, a lot. I ask my answer every time. A lot. And then I try to think of all the small stuff and the big stuff that I need. Starting with the big one, which is finished in the wire. And I definitely need to get out there and do that now that the motor's in uh, oh another thing that I did do uh, put my uh, battery tray together and I actually got it mounted in the truck put my battery on it that thing works great it is on the passenger side like the original when I bought it it said it was universal the brace did it just said the brace. I was like, well, maybe I can figure out how to get that to work. Well, that is not universal. That I would have had to done some either modifications way too much on the fender of my truck or on that brand new tray, and I wasn't going to do that. So, anyway, I got that on, and I then put the battery on the passenger side. I'm eventually going to get me a second battery, and I'm planning on putting it over on the driver side. But there'll be a later time and then won't be actually running the uh or trying to turn over the truck it's just going to be used for accessories that i'm planning on adding on later on down the line but it'll be a while before i get to that but uh let's get now to the subject of what this video is all about which is uh two things that i realized that uh one I need to come up with and another is a topic that I think I need to discuss and one I'm going to go ahead and start with which is uh, coming up with a list of what you need to get your project done. It's like every time I was asked how much I liked I was like a lot and then I kept thinking I was like there comes a point in time where you definitely got to make a list checklist where you can check off what you like and what you need I filled nearly a complete sheet up which ain't bad really 
of what I need just to get the motor running. This is just to get it running. Uh, most of it is parts I'll need to get it running and some is to actually be able to drive it. There are going to be st other stuff that will come up. And that's one thing you got to remember when you're doing a, any type of project that requires uh, some type of uh, modifications or changeovers or adapters or whatever that some of the parts that you take off may get lost. I still got some boats that uh, I took off not too long ago and I can't figure out where I put it. I got an idea now where I might have them. Can't, ain't positive. I do know where I can get them so you replace them ain't no problem. Uh, but I think I've actually got it in the the uh, box that I, or the tub, that I got my wiring harness setting in right now. Because uh, I had it out there, put some stuff in it, and that was what I was taking out, and I was going to put it in storage in. I was like, well, I need to get my wiring harness out. I'll put it in there so it ain't big and mess, and then I'll take it in the house and work on it some in there. I got most of the stuff, uh, well, I got everything unpinned that I was supposed to unpin. Except for, uh, I did leave the, uh, oil level, uh, sending unit in there because this car has got it. I like it when it gets a little low and it tells you that, uh, you're low. The alarm kind of shocks you. I've only had it happen the two times when I'm up, going up a mountain, so I'm pretty much like this. And then that's one I know of a uh, quart low. First time it happened, somehow it was two quarts low, and that was uh, probably not even a month after I'd done the oil change. Never could figure out where that oil was. Don't see the oil leak. Then I think there was uh, one time also coming over the mountain. And it was like a, just a little quart low. That's probably from a uh, regular drive, but it's been a while since, since oil. It's actually uh, coming up due time for uh, another oil change, so. That's something to look forward to. I'll probably do a video on that, because uh, I do got to, when I change it, I'm planning on uh, doing my crank piston, position sensor on this thing as well. I've had the sensor for a while, and first time when I tried to put on, I couldn't get it lodged off and then all of a sudden it started raining on me. I was like, well, I got to put this thing together so I can be able to drive it because it, in the rain, it's the only transportation I have. I mean, I got a rain suit from the motorcycle, but I prefer to stay as dry as I can. But, uh, yeah, one thing you should always do uh, at a certain time, you don't have to have it at first. Uh, it's good to have, though. It's a checklist to go through. The second thing I just want to talk about is uh, budget. Now, a lot of people, uh, the way they set their budget is a lot of times they'll have the money already saved up so they know how this is how much they spend. And that works on a lot of projects. Some projects, so like in mine, where you got a low budget and it's kind of one of those spur of the moments where you're looking for one thing and you end up with something else. So you're working your budget around that. And mine is whatever I have left over out of my paycheck week to week. Of course, the main part was the uh, starting of uh, tax season when I got my tax returns. I set a certain amount and end up coming across the motor which you can watch my other videos and see how all that actually uh, got started but uh after that it all depends on how much I'd have left over after my bills or whatever and luckily this is also uh where I work at is our busy seasons so I actually am able to get some overtime and that's what I'm doing is using that extra money to get the parts I need but I don't go for the first one I find I search around 
I find what I need and then I search around and find the best price and sometimes uh, you do get what you pay for so you gotta watch it I try to find what I know is good and then find that at the best price doing a swap like this is not cheap but uh, it doesn't mean you it can't be a low budget friendly I mean so far I haven't spent all that much there's uh, stuff coming up though that's going to cost me well, I have found price on uh, several headers that's in the budget range of what I'm looking for which is around $110-$120 I'm trying to decide which one will work the best. And if I want to go with the shorties or longs. I'm trying to watch others that does the budget bills to see what headers they are or uh, what they're running. So I'm down to about three. They all range between 110 I think the highest is 127 and I just got to decide which one that will work best so that's one thing I got to get then there's a uh, some that I didn't think about <laughs> which I always come up on the budget because I had a starter for my old truck then once I get the transmission going in and I've, I've already talked about it on some of my other ones work I didn't know if the starter worked, and then there was one where I was looking at it, I was like, hey, this will work, because one boat will fit. Until I got underneath there, and I was looking at it, it was one I was, I think it was one I was putting the tour together, burger boats on. Yeah, because I was looking up at the starter, and I uh, noticed that the holes were just a little different on the opposite side so one side's right the other side there wouldn't be no place for a boat to go in so i will have to get a new starter so i just gotta look around and uh, find the best price for that now i'm looking forward to this weekend because i don't have no bills so all my check I can go towards this uh, project to get my truck actually up and running. So I am planning on going to the Savage Yard to get some parts that I do need. Which is, uh, I'm going to try to get some fuel lines. At least some of the hard lines that I need. And then I can, I'll know how much I need afterwards. At least going from the motor to where I need to put the filter I still got to get underneath there see if I can get the tank where it needs to be or if it's going to be one of those where I need to figure out where to put it because this is a different gear model uh, Silverado that's going in to an <laughs> older Silverado and my CDN is a, C a Silverado so that's going to be interesting i already know what i'm going to do if i can't get it underneath the where or it needs to locate i'm going to fabricate take me a uh, some type of bracket or case and uh, actually put it in the front part of the bed i'll make it look like a toolbox or something like that or It'll be, well, actually, I'll have it where it'd be easier for me to actually get in and change the fuel pump if uh, it decides to go out, which I still need to check it out. I may go ahead and replace the fuel pump on it anyway, just to uh, be on the safe side of things. Uh, let's see. And, uh, I'm going to try to actually find the uh, radiator off of one that's going to be I'm trying to get it off of 1500 but uh, if I have to, I'll get it off Camaro or something like that. Where it'll fit inside my truck. Because I am, uh, I'm 
much how to use the whole cooling system on it. I actually like the way it looks. It'll simplify it because there'll be a lot of stuff uh, I wouldn't have to modify. The only thing I will have to modify is how to get it to actually gray air set. And I'm hoping to be able to find me fans down there. Uh, I mean, I can buy them pretty uh, reasonable online, so that's no big deal. And that is uh, another thing which is part of that. Part that I for, uh, didn't realize that I forgot is I still need two more rel relays in a fuse box for my uh, fans. One for the high, one for the low. And just something that I overlooked. Wasn't exactly in a website uh, but it, it did talk about it so it was something I overlooked and I was watching other builds and that's how I realized I need it. I may not be able to actually or I may not be able I may not have to buy the new relays I might be able to find me something because I am going to look for me a box to uh, fab some type of bracket to hold my relays, my main relays and the fuses, put it somewhere on the side where I can try to keep everything clean because I want to try to get where most of the wires look hidden, like where the wires is coming out from the side, from the front and side on the passenger side, since my batteries don't look on the driver's side, I'm actually going to reroute like the injectors where they go from the back to the front and then in the cable it's actually going to go from front all the way to the back and come out the back and be hidden the whole way hopefully that's the reason why i still got to get it out there and uh put the wiring harness in there and check it out see how things go and how i want it and see if it'll go exactly where i want I am uh, going to try my best to uh, put the uh, computer inside the cab somewhere behind the dash, maybe behind the glove box, or I might down at the kick panel, maybe some type of a uh, cover or something for it. I haven't decided. I'll have to get in there. It was yesterday when the guy got the motor. Some of the motor parts was inside the cab of the truck, so there's a huge section now on my uh, truck so I have more room just got finished clearing out which the intake and the carburetor was the biggest thing that was taking up room and uh, then it had a few distributors one went with it and the other two we didn't know exactly what it went to so it, that's the way it came to me and that's the way I gave it to him and I still got a bunch in the back of my truck I got to get out because if that tank does got to go in the bed of the truck I may decide to end up taking the camper top off I got, which I have been thinking about doing it, and uh, just do away with the camper top. Anyway, I'm home. I'm tired. I'm going to go in and rest a little bit. I don't think I got everything I was wanting to say out. I was thinking about it all day, and for some reason, when I stayed, it, it just didn't sound like I was saying everything, but... I'll think of it on the next one, hopefully. Till then, I'll see y'all in the next video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.